too than me, that low. I didn't touch these all year, though. Is this a chicken bucket? I think anything is here. I think it's the fertilizer. I didn't have enough of it. They sound like a um, parrot almost, huh? I don't think they're very, uh, what's the word? Oh, oh look at this though. Some of these dragon carrots. Check it out. Well, get off the carrot bed. <laughs> come well, here. Come on. Come here. Come here, hon. Come on. Come on. Go over the carrot bed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over the bed. Over the bed. Well, get out of there. Oh, whoa. That what one. is that? That's dragon. Shovel. There you go. Look at this. There we go. Yeah, they got small, not that big this year at all. Mm. And it's nice in there, nice yellow one. Looks like a radish if or a bee. they're super, super small. Those. That's a nice one. I would definitely keep like that big. That one broke, so. This would be really good fried up, these little ones. I'm just not gonna, you know, I don't wanna go through the effort of cleaning all of them, that's all. No. Can I give you these? Oh, whoa, look. He got forgotten. They should be super sweet because of all the cold. Oh my gosh, like the complete cool down and then warm up and looks like a turnip. Are you ready to go? These are down for the year. Remember in the winter, there's snow wet, like up to here? We're cleaning up shop in the garden. We harvested all of our crops outside and we're just totally done. Now's the prep work. We're going along. We're taking out the weeds. There's a lot of chickweed this year and we're going to be amending our rows for next spring. We're trying to get ahead of the game. We didn't amend them earlier in the spring and we want to amend them now. So we're going to be adding some compost and most likely spent barley. We've got a lot of work to do. It's probably going to take all day. So we're going to keep working.
this is all weeds. And this is just like a little bit of a, these rows have so many weeds on them, but we're not putting this in the compost. I'm just taking off the chicken coop and I dump them in there and they eat them. So they don't go to waste. Like weed pullers or shovels? What I'm using now? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't have a lot of experience with those. <laughs> those rows that you're working on aren't that bad. No, they're not. Yeah, I was looking at that. We only have one really, two really bad rows. That's it for tonight. We're beat. We're gonna go inside and eat and we'll pick up tomorrow. Look at that. Look at that rock. <laughs> no. no. Never? Any, yeah, volume. No. It's, good it's here, fine yeah. to be smaller a row. If it's a smaller a row like that, you can always plant like uh, potatoes. They look really good. Oh, it's almost like who did the work. So we gotta do this row, that row, maybe the back row, maybe that row, and then we gotta go with the bar thing. Getting weeds out again. This is the perfect row to take right now. Gosh, it's like totally frozen. I'm not trying to get the roots out though, you know, I'm just going through the seed. I don't Yeah, that's it for the compost. We're gonna go pick up a load of spent barley. We're almost done with the garden for the year. We made it back with our spent barley. We like to add this because it has a good amount of nitrogen in it for the rows, but it also has a lot of volume. And my main reason of adding it is that there are lots of organisms or bugs that come to break it down. So that's my big reason why we like to add this stuff. And we're just gonna be going along and putting out in all the rows.
Yeah, that's. Do you want to do that on the other road too for me? Sure, I'll get it for you. I like this right because the head doesn't move and it's like swivel around you. Yeah. That's a really nice one. That was an improvement. I wanted one with a little bit longer prongs or whatever you That does it. We're officially done with the garden until spring. Those are hard to come by sometimes, huh? And on the roof, we're gonna clean the chimney. It's our once a year thing. I've been putting it off, but it's gonna be snowing pretty soon, so we gotta get her cleaned. Last time I was up on one of our roofs, it was at our other cabin. We were putting in a wood stove out there and I was doing the chimney. I had the rope tied around my ribs, and my ribs hurt for about a month after that. So I bought a $20 harness off Amazon. Hopefully it works. <laughs> There we go. 
enough. We're good, babe.
right. Trying not to make too much noise, but we had to get the chainsaw out. We're gonna do a little grouse hunting this morning. Um, we got snow last night, so hopefully the grouse are still out here. They're usually on the trail picking at the gravel, eating the grit, but there's snow. So hopefully we'll see some. We brought just Bandit with us, and we got the Polaris out, and we got the 17 HMR rifle and the 22, and we're gonna continue up the trail, see if we see any. Well, another tree. Might even be another one up there. We're back out grouse hunting again. We've seen, we've seen two. And Bandit found one and it flew into the trees. And then Errol saw one flying into the trees. We couldn't find either of them. I think it might be a little late in the season. There's so much snow on the trail that they're not really in the trail getting the grit. They're in the trees. But we're a little further out in the trail today. We're gonna see if we can find one, but we did find these really big bear prints coming through the snow here. So it looks like there's two bears out here. Nice morning. First, these are our first ever ptarmigan. This is awesome. I didn't think we've ever eaten these before. <sighs> Higher elevation. That's where we came because we weren't having any luck with the grouse. Well, I, I won't say that. Bandit did find a grouse and he scared it in the woods. We couldn't find it. But we sent Bandit out into these willows and he scared a bunch of these up. Uh, these are two of them. Two went that way, two went this way. And once you shoot these things, they're super hard to find in the snow. But Bandit, found, he found both of them. Good job, pup. Yeah, we got these because of you. Uh, this isn't a grouse. Like I said, this is a ptarmigan. Similar, very similar to a grouse. Look at these beautiful, beautiful white birds. Fur on their feet. This is so cool. Let's go down the trail and see if we can find those other two that got away. Awesome. Sound they make? Bandit, come. 
He scared the whole crew, but I saw one fly right over there. Do you want to hang on your ptarmigan or just on your sandwich? Um, I'll take my however you take yours. Okay. Well, this meal looks absolutely beautiful that Eric made for us. I wanted to take a quick moment to mention something very exciting. We've been getting a lot of questions and the answer is yes. We will be having a 2022 Alaska calendar for sale. Yeah. <laughs> we have been in Alaska for a few years, as you know, and last year, we went ahead and made a calendar. Yep. It was an awesome process making it, and we love Alaska. We love living here and getting to explore. We love sharing our journeys with you. And so we're gonna have this bad boy for sale. We're gonna have a link in the description if you are looking to purchase one, if you're in need of a calendar for next year. We're using the same company we used last year, and they were awesome. They sent these out super fast. Yep. I was really, really happy with them. They ship them internationally, and they come in two sizes. They do, and Ariel took every single one of the photos in that calendar. It was an awesome experience. It was pretty much us just traveling around Alaska, just <laughs> looking for awesome things, and it's not hard to find awesome things in this state. So if you're interested in a calendar, they are going to be available as of now. And what's on our menu? Well, where do I start? Well, we got the ptarmigan that we hunted and I just pan fried that. A little bit of breading on there. And then we have some moose roast sandwiches. Errol made some awesome bread. We have some of the cranberry jelly on there. Onion jam, mashed potatoes. Gravy. And gravy. And I think that's it. But this looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try the ptarmigan. Sure. It's ptarmigan. Thank you. Well, that's good. What does that taste like? It tastes different than the grouse. It tastes like a little, uh, it's got a little more pizzazz to it. I agree. Like I a little lemony? Gamey, but, um, like a little more zip to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if zip would be my word. It does, it does taste a little more different. <laughs> you got a fork and a knife. I'd say I like it just as much as grouse, right? You know what might be good on there? It's a little, it's a little bit. bit of the jelly too, like. Oh, I don't even think it needs it. It's so see. good. 